Hi everyone, I'm Jared DeCoste and I'm a scientist who works with the Chemical, Biological, and Radiological Filtration Branch for the U.S. Army. What we work on is we work on masks for soldiers. So I know a thing or two about how masks can protect you. So there's obviously a huge debate going on around the country about whether or not um, masks should be used in schools and whether it should be a parent's choice. What I want to show you really quick is why it is important for everyone to be wearing a mask and not just the person who's trying to be protected. So I have a hose here on my right, and that's going to um, indicate the person who is breathing and could be infected with COVID. And my daughter, Amelia, here on the left is gonna be another student who could be breathing in those virus particles. All right, you ready to help me out? Yeah. All right, you're gonna stand over here on this little black piece, which is six feet away from my hose. So this indicates another kid breathing all day long. Hey Amelia, are you getting wet? No, not really. Yes, really. <laughs> wait, wait, aren't the kids watching? Are you getting wet, Amelia? <laughs> sure looks like it. All right, now if we wear a mask, nope, go stand back on the black. All right. Now, if the person who is breathing is wearing a mask, watch what happens to the water. Hey, Amelia, are you getting wet? No. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. It doesn't look like any of the water is getting anywhere near you, is it? No, you'd have to be over touching the person. All right, can you go back over onto the black piece? Go back over onto the black piece, Amelia. All right, so a lot of people are saying, well, you can protect yourself by you wearing a mask. Hey, Amelia, can you pull up your mask? All right, you ready? Hey, Amelia, are you still getting wet? Yeah. Yeah, because guess what? Your mask doesn't, isn't there to protect you. Your mask is there to protect everyone else.